She was seven. I'm back. <clears throat> I'm I'm sorry about my voice, y'all. It, it, I think it's going away. I think it's going away. But I'm gonna try to make this video before it's totally gone. So, a lot of women uh, have been asking me, oh, well, how do I attract these type of men that are good and decent and not losers? Every time I go out, I'm attracting losers. No good guys will approach me. What am I doing wrong? I look good. Everything is, you know nice about me I'm in good shape I look pretty blah, blah blah what's wrong why aren't they approaching where are you going what place are you in is it a low level place is it a high level place is it a place that you can see a husband taking you um, and if you answered no then that's the problem. Uh, guys that have good intentions who are looking for a potential partner or long-term relationship are not going to be in those type of places. The men who are in those type of places are looking for quick thrills, fun, and probably not commitment. So you need to find a place that you can go where you could see a potential husband taking you out on a date to or somewhere where men are not going to be looking for one night stands so you need to take yourself to like a higher caliber bar don't go to a club okay a, a higher caliber bar in the nice nicest part of town okay put on your nicest classiest you know cute outfit Make sure everything on you looks decent. You know, don't don't go overboard because then you just stand out like a sore thumb. Um, and and your confidence is key. If you don't feel like you belong somewhere, it's people are going to pick that up. People are going to detect that. They're going to see how uncomfortable you are in certain places, and they're going to say, "Well, she doesn't belong here." You know. If you if you go somewhere, you need to fit in. Act like you belong. You know, like you've been there before, this is no big deal, blah, 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 blah. Your confidence is going to attract the person who, you know, is interested in you um, without them seeing that you're uncomfortable in this environment. Because it's all about environment. If you're uncomfortable somewhere, it shows because of your body language, okay? A lot of, a lot of women have this problem. They're afraid to step out of their comfort zone or a place that they've always gone or a place that's supposed to be cool um, and where their friends go, go out alone. I keep telling y'all, men don't like to approach women with a bunch of other women around. And they don't, okay? They're afraid to get rejected in public unless they are looking for one night stands. Then that, that's fine because they can go on to the next woman. But when they're really genuinely interested in you and they approach you and you're with a bunch of women, you know, it's worse to get rejected when you really wanted to get to know someone than when you were just looking for sex. So, ladies, go out alone, pick a good place with, um, you know, in a nice area of town. Get out of your comfort zone. Wear more appropriate clothes if your, you know, wardrobe needs to be updated to a classier style. Do that, okay? Because men who are looking for long-term relationships aren't looking for um, women who dress a certain way, okay? Those are one-night stand ladies. So, you need to... You know, I've done a video like this before, but people keep asking me the same question. It's all about your confidence, how you dress, and where you hang out. If you hang out with low lives, you're going to attract low lives. Go to a place where low lives would not even go. Go to a place where lame people do not go. Go to a place where broke people cannot get in. This is this is like obvious. Go to a place where 
someone who needs a place to stay so they're looking for a girlfriend it's not going to be able to afford a drink at okay go somewhere nice treat yourself like you know you deserve the best and that's how other others will treat you you know a lot of a lot of women will say oh you're being snobby you're being bougie you're being bitchy you're not down to earth well think about this what kind of man are you attracting if you are uh, taking the less or taking the least accepting anything you know uh, for being forgiving for someone lacking something those are the type of men you're going to attract. If you don't settle for less, if you have high standards, if you say, no, mm -mm -mm, I'm too good for that, then no guys are going to approach you who are going to treat you like you don't want to be treated. You're only going to attract men who know how to treat women, who know how to give them what they want, who know how to give them what they expect. And I'm, 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 little, I'm getting tongue tied again. But I guarantee you, you're not going to find losers in certain parts of town, in certain areas, in certain bars, in certain restaurants. You're not going to find losers because they can't afford to be there. So that is where you go. I tell everybody this. Um, there are places you might have no idea exist in your town. You need to go out and explore. Go, you know, go outside of your comfort zone. If you're used to a place where there's all of a certain race and you never leave that place, you know, you're going to get whatever comes in that place. You need to go out into the world and explore what else is out there. Um, go to a different town sometimes, um, like the next town over, maybe 30 minutes away. They might have a nice place with different types of men. You don't know. So you have to keep trying. You can't just go to the same place the same time every week and expect Prince Charming to walk in. That's not going to happen, you know. <laughs> so... I keep trying to tell y'all, go where you want to be taken when you are married. Go where you see yourself or where you think you deserve to be. Don't go where it's easy to get, you know, guys' attention because they're not looking for a wife. They're not looking for a long-term girlfriend, okay? Go somewhere where you're a surprise. Like, oh my God, I just, I, I got off work one day and I went to happy hour to get me a drink before I hit rush hour traffic and there was this gorgeous lady sitting in there and she, I've never seen her before. She looks so cool. We started a conversation. I bought her a drink and we have so much in common. Um, I gave her my number. We're going out next week and I'm taking her to this cool restaurant that I've been dying to go to and take, take someone to because I've heard so much about, you know, this is how men with careers and um, means think. They're not trying to go out to the club because they have they have they have work, they have careers, you know they uh, they're focusing on other stuff. If they do go out to the club, it's my like it's not every weekend. Okay, believe me, I know. Um, so this is this is the kind of thing you want to do. And like I said, if you're looking for someone your same age and you're like 20 or 30. Men are not as mature as women. They don't want the same things at the same time as women. So what you're wanting, they're not going to be wanting. So I always suggest go for a little bit older. Uh, and someone who has a career, I, I can't stress enough. If you, ha if you don't have your list by now and career is not on that list, then you're wasting time. You're wasting your time because if you're trying to get a man with a job versus a career, that's financial struggle just waiting to happen, okay? Um, you need to be picky. You need to be picky and you need to know what you want. Otherwise, you're going to attract everything to you because you don't have a clear list of what you want. So you will entertain whatever approaches you. You need to have a clear list. Okay, career. This, this, that. Okay, so a guy approaches you and they say, Hi, how are you? My name And You know, but they might seem nice. They might say the right thing. Then you ask them what they do for a living and they say, oh, I work for whatever or, oh, uh, uh, you know, if, if it's just a regular job and they're not in school and they're too old to, you know, be doing anything, um, there's too old to still be in school, like getting a degree, unless they are getting a degree. See, this is what you need to know. Are they career bound? Do they have a career? Are they in school for their master's? Um bachelor's or something doctorate if they just have a regular job and they're satisfied with that that means you're probably gonna have to work and they're not gonna take care of you 
You find somebody with a career who has potential to gain more money in the future, who get bonuses, who um, get vacation days, who have insurance and benefits. You know, that's what you want, okay? No lame loser is going to have that. So put that on your list and you won't have to deal with them. You just don't even, after they tell you what they do, just like, okay, well, you know, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, that's my boyfriend calling. Or, oh, you know, I got to go. My sister needs a ride. You, you exit, okay? Don't even entertain those people. Don't even give it the time of day. Why? Because it's not what you want, okay? Don't make excuses for someone. Oh, well, they might be a nice person. Oh, they might be the love of my life. Oh, they might be the financial burden of your life. Oh, they might just want to come be with you because, you know, you have more than them. Oh, they can't help you when you need help. Oh, if your car breaks down, you can't go to them for money. Oh, 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 yeah. Mm -mm. If you're dating someone and they cannot help you, if your car breaks down, if they can't give you money to fix it, if they can't help you pay a bill, if they can't help you do anything, why are you with them? They cannot do anything for you, okay? They can't do anything for you. All they can do is lay in your bed, have sex with you, tell you some lies. Now, can they do something for you? Then, you know, if, if you're going to keep a person in your life, they need to add to it and not take away from it. You know, if they're taking from you, they're taking, taking, taking. As a grown man who's physically bigger, stronger, who does not have certain things to hold him back career-wise, who has more potential to gain money than a you do, then why are you entertaining them? I don't understand. A lot of girls get wrapped up in the moment and da-da-da. Look, when you look at a man, look at him five years in the future. Say, okay, where is he going to be in five years? When you go out, look at people five years in the future. Are they going to be worse off or better off? Okay? Don't look at them for right now because right now, all they're doing, you know, they're either they're on their way somewhere. Where are they on their way to? Are you going to be there with them? Are they going to be able to help you? Are they going to benefit your life in any way? Okay? So, you see a guy, he might be cute, but think about where he's going to be in five years. After you've gotten all his information, okay, he does this, he does that. Where's he going to be in five years? I don't know. Does it look good? Bypass, okay? I don't care how good he looks, how good he tells you you look, how much attention he's giving you. It's for a reason. He's overcompensating for lack of something, okay? So, men like challenges, okay? They shouldn't be, they should not find it so easy to have you, okay? Be a challenge, Challenge them. Don't accept every phone call. Don't accept every text or text back way later. If it's too easy, they'll they'll experience you and be done with you quick. You gotta you gotta keep them hanging on a string. You gotta keep some mystery in it. Don't be so desperate. Don't be so thirsty. Men know this. Okay. Be a mystery. Be you know. Don't text him for two days. Uh, <laughs> or text him one text and that's it. Leave it. Okay, men always want what they can't have. If you're too easy, they're gonna get you, use you up, and throw you out. Don't be like that. <clears throat> mm -mm. Also, don't be afraid to be a bitch to, to men. They like that secretly. They'll remember you. They'll they'll always remember you. I remember when I was young, I used to go out to the club all the time, and I would just be so rude to guys, bitch. Uh-uh, you know, they would remember me every time I walked in. They would remember me, and they would like me more and more I came in. The more I dissed them, they would like it. They're like, one day, one day, I'm, I'm you're, you're going to be, uh, you know, one day you're going to be my girlfriend or something stupid like that. And they would buy me drinks because I would be rude to them. I don't know why. It's just like, oh, okay, you think you all that? Okay, well, let me buy you a drink. Let me loosen you up, you know. When you're rude to people, they respect you for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. If you're too nice, if you're all up in the guy's face, oh, hi, no, they're like, mm-mm. You're rude to people, and it's like, excuse me. They might cuss you out, but they'll always remember you. And then when they see you the next time, they're like, oh, that's that, that's that lady. She was so rude. Oh, I bet you, I bet you she, yeah. They're intrigued by it for some reason, you know? And nowadays, you have these violent people who you just can't do that to. So, you know, I would I would suggest 
just keeping your distance, not being too nice. You know, back when I was younger, it was a different time. These days, you just have to kind of be snobbish. You don't have to say anything rude. You can just, you know, be like that. And men always want what they can't have. So if you really like a guy, if you think someone is cute and you want them to approach you, ignore them. Look at them like, you know, they're going to be like, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Oh, why she don't like me? She's not even looking at me. Oh, you know, what did I do? Then they're going to start down themselves and they're going to be like, hmm, they're going to find you more interesting. So y'all keep that in mind. Everything is a game, a mental game. All is mental. Okay. That's one of the universal laws. All is mental. When you can get them up here, you can get them physically. Okay. I will see y'all later. Thumbs up. And if y'all have any um, <clears throat> video suggestions, put them in the comments. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.